Good day to you. Today I'm going to go ahead and um, do a LinkedIn self-assessment and it's going to be an HTML. This will be my first one for the year 2022. Um, and I think I tried it twice last year and didn't succeed so well. So I want to just give it a bash this year and see if I've improved anything um, from last year. Okay, so first of all, we've got to go to um, our profile. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to scroll down. Uh, going to choose this option, take skill quiz. Okay, yeah, you can see I've got 15 badges and it says one to retake. And there it said I've got two retakes left. So let's go ahead and retake our HTML. So the HTML assessment, this is beyond HTML, HTML fundamentals, images, sound and video, tables and mathematics, web for all. 2.2 million took this, 15 multiple choice questions, 1.5 minutes per question, score in the top 30 to earn a badge. Before you start, you must complete this assessment in one session. Make sure your internet is reliable. You can retake this assessment once if you don't earn a badge. We won't show your results to anyone without your permission. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. So our first question. For the HTML code below, when will sample text display to the browser? No script, sample text no script. Uh, when JavaScript is not supported by the browser, when JavaScript is disabled in the browser, when JavaScript is not supported by the browser, or if JavaScript is disabled in the browser, when there is no JavaScript used on this web page. Um, yeah, that's an interesting one. I would say that when JavaScript is disabled in the web browser, Okay, so when JavaScript is not supported by the browser or if JavaScript is disabled in the browser. Which description list is coded correctly? So we've got DT, DL, DL, DLs. So, um, and then we've got DTs inside, DD, DD. So there's four different um, scripts, software, okay. Okay, this one, I think I'm going to go with um, the DL and the DT and the DD. Yep. What is the difference between the read-only and disabled attributes for the text area element? Okay, I'm going to choose here. Read-only allows clicking on the text area and element disabled prevents all interaction with the control. My system seems to be running a bit slowly. Clicked on next and they're waiting to run out. Oh, did it not choose it? What is the what is the correctly nested markup for this list? So you've got UL and LI and then OL. Um, sure. Okay, don't know what that was. Okay, we should have a UL, then an LI, Office Supplies, then, yeah, UL. Okay, so UL, Office Supplies, um, yeah, LI, then another UL, LI, yep. Okay, 
so this is it. Next. Given the following requirements, select the correct input configuration. An input that allows the user to select from a range of integer values between 0 and 100, inclusive, in increments of 5. Okay. Input type is number or it should be range. Uh, min is 0 and select the correct input. Max is 100. I'm going to go with number. What is wrong with this code? The UL and the H2. So an H1 uh, should should be used here instead of an H2. Nothing is wrong. Cannot contain a heading element in a child. In a di direct child. The OL allows direct descendants to contain elements other than LI. <clears throat> I'm going to just say here uh, that the UL cannot contain a heading element as a direct child. Nah, I'm just going to choose nothing's wrong. It looks right to me. What is the most semantically correct markup for copyright information at the bottom of a web page? So you've got the footer, paragraph, close paragraph, um, then you've got a paragraph, a name, p, div. I would go with div. I'm going to stick with that answer. What is the correct way to include a style sheet name, style.css, in the head of your document? Um, style link style source um, link style link href uh, I would go with this style link is it not link style could be the source What is wrong with this code? Image source um, random. Okay. The image should be nested within a figure tag. The image is not a valid HTML element. Instead, use image source equals. And yeah. Okay. Image should not be paired with a caption tag. The image element is missing an alt attribute. The image is missing an alt attribute. What is the absolute URL for a web page called? What is the absolute URL for a web page called? Page HTML that includes the base tag below. Base href LinkedIn der. LinkedIn der page. Which is the most semantically correct markup for a side comment in small print? Okay. Side comment in small print. Um, I would I would go with this one. Okay. What is the best way to code this sample? Okay. And it's talking about parmesan devoured eggs. Details open. Summary, parmesan devoured eggs summary. And then open paragraph, close paragraph, and close details.
Given the file and directory structure shown below, shown here, what is the correct element to place in the file profit HTML to link to info.html? Open the ahref and then um, go to the root and then info HTML, see information. Close the A tag. What is wrong with this code snippet? And it's talking about label, opens a label, closes a label. Input type is text, name is address, ID is address input, and then a forward slash. The label element is missing the for attribute set in address input. What code, what, what does this code do when the browser cannot play sound or the source files are missing? Audio control source mp3 type audio mpeg when or where does this text display and then close audio the text displays under the audio controls the text displays over the audio controls unless css is used to position it elsewhere the text never displays it the text displays when the browser cannot play the sound i'm going to go with that option the text displays Okay, I'm going to click on view results and let's see, did we make it this year? Doesn't want to tell me, wants to keep me in anticipation. Oh, there we go. Finally got it. I got the HTML assessment badge. Great work. You earned a badge. You're in the top 30% of 2.2 million people who took this. Okay, so that one is done. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it has been helpful and informative. And if you spotted any incorrect um, answers, please feel free to comment below and let me know. Thanks. Goodbye.